Good Thursday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Vizurik visiting once again with meteorologist Chris Shromick at Decision Weather in Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, looks like another fairly warm day, just ahead of uh, precipitation chances this weekend. Yeah, Joe, we have uh, temperatures uh, today will go into the 60s for the fourth day in a row. So we were talking about potential records. We were just a little bit shy yesterday. As highs topped out in those upper 60s and not quite breaking those temperature readings that have lowered to mid 70s. So we'll continue with this spring like weather again today. We got winds from a northwest direction at 5 to 15 miles per hour, and temperatures again are above freezing, uh, ranging from 34 in Goodline to 32, 33 up there in McCook. And what else is going on is out there in the Pacific, we've got that atmospheric river of precipitation that's now dumped on the California coast and is putting snow and more moisture up into the higher elevations of the Rockies. Uh, we're starting to get some snow being reported in southwestern Colorado. That'll keep continuing through the day, where we, and they've got watches and warnings for winter storms out there where they could receive upwards to a foot of snow, while at the same time, a lee side low pressure will be developing over eastern Colorado in front of the Rockies here this afternoon and during Groundhog Day tomorrow, and that'll turn our winds back to an east-southeasterly direction and start pulling Gulf moisture northward. We already see some of that Gulf moisture with some light showers now in northern Oklahoma, down there in south-central Kansas. Well, that'll keep slowly getting evicted northward, turn into shower and thunderstorm activity tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon in south-central Kansas and down in those areas, and then by evening, We'll see rain showers moving into the tri-state area. Temperature-wise, we'll top out to date at 64, go to 52 for tomorrow. And then on Saturday, as that rain and snow out to our west in Colorado continues, we'll see those temperatures drop into the upper 30s, low 40s. And then that Sunday morning low being around below freezing, we could see a little bit rain-snow mix before the rain showers move off to the east into eastern Kansas during Sunday afternoon. Uh, with all this activity going on, the big things to watch out for is the snows out in Colorado. Uh, they'll start developing later in the day, Friday, Friday evening, down by Colorado Springs. By Saturday morning, eventually cover Denver and Interstate 70, pretty much to the west of Flagler in that Lyman area on the Palmer Divide. So all that could receive anywhere from two to eight inches of snow to Denver. And then you get in the foothills, another foot, and then another foot up in the mountains for two feet total. So Colorado is going to get lots of moisture with this system. For us in Kansas, we'll have rain showers pretty much steady off and on through the day on Saturday, ending there Sunday. Could get a quarter to three quarters of an inch, and you get to the east of a line from Kearney to Hayes. We're talking one to three inches in eastern Nebraska, eastern Kansas. Uh, down there as we head into Oklahoma. So there is a lot of moisture with this system. Uh, we'll definitely take it. Moisture like that this time of the year is more like spring and not so much to start February. Chris, as we continue through the uh, first half of February, will it remain a fairly active weather pattern? Yeah, that's the other side of this story is we've got two more of those atmospheric river events coming into California. Uh, looks like we'll start right off the bat, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the same scenario, slowly dumps on California, then the snows start working into the western slope of the Rockies, and then that low will come out onto the, the plains, it looks like, on Thursday, and that's immediately followed by another one to end the week out in California and back over in our area on Super Bowl Sunday. All that time frame, those spring-like temperatures will continue 40s and 50s for highs, lows in those upper 20s, low 30s. So we will be on the borderline of rain and snow with those two systems as well. And with all that moisture coming into them, it, it's going to be moderate, heavy type precipitation. Right now, the track it has northwest Kansas kind of in the dry slot or the close to the lows, one going to the north of us on Thursday and the other one going to the south of us on Super Bowl Sunday. But however, you know, those tracks will move north and south as we narrow in. And so there is potential for rain and snow with both of those. We don't really grab the cold air out of Canada and get pulled over us until those pass. And that's, you know, when we head towards Valentine's Day in the end of the month where we could experience the much colder weather from the north. Chris, uh, once again, uh, Weather Streaming Channel offers a, uh, a promotion for a limited time. Yeah, we're going to go into February. We're expecting all this activity, and we'd like to get 
folks to try in our, our weather service. Where our niche is, is we want to get a personalized local forecast, one-on-one -on -one communication to our customers and those that are following our weather here on KYVZ. We do weather forecasts for Northwest Kansas Radio, and we also have, you know, the YouTube live product with our team of meteorologists across the country. So we've got our own localized, personalized weather available. There's no more second guessing, looking at your phone app. We're trying to find a local forecast on Wichita TV, Denver TV, elsewhere on the computer. Uh, we got local meteorologists right here with Precision Weather and America's Weather Streaming Channel that'll get you a personalized local forecast. You'll know when it's coming, how much, and that'll help you make your decisions without all that second guessing. Chris, if people would like to sign up uh, for the uh, different promotions that you have, uh, what's the website they need to go take a look at? Well, myweathernow.com is where the videos are. You can get those and leave a comment there. Go to the Facebook page, leave a comment, or you can give me a personal call or email on my cell phone, which is 6082 local number. So there's all kinds of ways to get a hold of us. Just leave a message and then we'll follow up with a call to see how you want your forecast and what time in the morning how you want by text or email and we'll we'll figure that out for you and start getting the local weather to you and again this is a good time to take advantage of this trial because there's lots of weather coming here in february that's for sure once again that's meteorologist chris shamick at decision weather now as well as america's weather streaming channel for kyvz i'm joe vizuri